Good morning folks. It is Monday morning. We have about five days of me on the job, <laughs> not like that, to get the pub prepared and open for the 1st of November. Um, quite a lot of work still to be done in there so it's not going to be completed uh, per se but what we will be doing is getting all of the major parts of the pub operational and functional and then I'll continue to upgrade certain things as we open such as putting a storage cupboard under the sink in the gents toilets that kind of thing um, so because I have such a hefty workload and uh, Gemma didn't know any better but she's booked us away on the weekend we're gonna spend some time in York with Tom and Abby Tom, new to homebrew Tom um, so it's kind of it would have been nice to have done it after the pubs open because I'd have been able to let my hair down a little bit more but I'm gonna just try and chillax for a couple of days with them and uh, then come back for one big push on the Monday Tuesday to get everything moved from the old brew shed to the new brew shed uh, but in the interim from now until the weekend I think uh, whilst I'm still going to do the vlogs the dynamic may change slightly uh, because I'll be getting, I mean I'm in at 7 o'clock this morning it's just after, well actually it's 10 to 8 but yeah anyway I'm in early this morning it's not early for most of you is it 8 and I'll probably be stopping till about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight which doesn't leave me much time to edit vlog and uh, because I'll be shooting around as well I might not have time to set the camera up on every project there's going to be several small projects all started and completed within a couple of hours so what I will try to do is take almost a before and after shot and just talk you through the process of what I've done instead of doing long drawn out time lapse edits and all that kind of thing because it takes a lot more time on the editing block to put these things together. So with that in mind, I'm going to dive straight in. The first job I want to attack this morning is building a small shelving unit for bagging box ciders. Then we can get all the box ciders off the ground and into the cellar uh, ready in preparation to be served. So we'll start that forthwith. Okay, so here we are in the beer cellar. As you can see, this was something I did on Sunday evening. Got line cleaner in all of the antifobs and pipe work for the keg lines upstairs. And uh, I've just come in here and applied some expanding foam in this little alcove, which was actually a chimney, I believe. And this is pretty much where the cider boxes are going to live doesn't look to me like that expanding foam is going to stay up there very much longer. Might have to apply that again once it falls out. Yeah, it looks like it's falling out, look. Ah, oh, that's a bugger. Here it goes. Here it goes. Yeah, I've tried that before. Anywho, I'll measure up. I think I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe eight boxes in that little alcove there. So, we'll bastard we'll put together a little drawing and uh, take some measurements and knock something up quick sharp <laughs> All 
So this is totally the mood I'm in today. I blasted this out before 11 o'clock this morning. It includes three quarter inch ply shelves. I decided when I was measuring it up to go for the box steel seeing so as I had so much spare box section left over from making the chairs. And I've only got three or four lengths of two by two timber left. And I thought, well, I might need those two by, two by twos. So instead, yeah, I smashed it out using the one inch box. And I think, well, I'm sure you'd agree. It looks freaking awesome. The trouble is the floor is so wonky that it's floating. Well, that's all right. Because I basically had to hammer it into the alcove and make it fit anyway. <laughs> So the next job is zip out the tape measure and we're going to try and build a little soundproofing box for this air compressor, 97 decibels. Even my big air compressor is only 96 on the sticker. But yeah, we'll see if we can make it out of some loft insulation and some thin plywood. Job number two. So I've put together this soundproofing box which has been lined with fabric and rock wall insulation you can't see it because I've stapled it all up nicely on the sides so I'm just going to set up the tripod now um, you might want to drop your audio uh, we're going to hear first off the compressor running as it is and then with this soundproof box dropped over the top See if we can pick up any reduction. If we can't, I'm going to set it on fire. <laughs> wow. Massive difference. Massive. Good evening, good evening. It has evolved, the day has evolved, and we are now uh, closer to 9 p.m. than we were 9 a.m. when I began this vlog. And forgive me, it has been Craig's birthday today, so I did sort of throw in the towel about five o'clock and go and have a few beers with him. And that might have evolved into uh, four or five. Don't judge me, okay. So uh, what we've had done today is uh, Stu and Jem have been cracking on with the glossing and everything like that which you can see along all of the periphery and also outside we've had the sign writers in to put the fascia board signing on outside but it's too dark to show you that so we'll have to come back to it. We've got a little bit of a suggestion of what the seating arrangements going to be like up here and also downstairs we've sanded back the radiator covers as we have up here ready for them to take a gloss coating but we've knocked off several really big uh, jobs from the task list but by no means are we uh, over the finishing line yet. We're not going to get any closer if I carry on waffling to you guys somewhat pissedly uh, at half past eight, seven, six, five, whatever time it is. I need to wrap up, edit the vlog, get it online so we can start the whole thing again tomorrow morning, which is where we will be tomorrow if you care to join us. We'll see you then. Should I get them ones? No, I've got them. <laughs> What's your favourite? Got them. Um. These ones are heavy. Oh, crap. Let's just do what we do with the cup over the sofa. Never know what's criticised, but. You wear it like stuff. It's just that vlog that had the camera rolling when we decided oh. to do that.
Yeah, hide your face, buddy. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.